Welcome back and welcome to the weekend. This time last year, we woke up to 25 degree temperatures. Uh, that was a record for this date and also the coldest reading all winter long last year. Today, 82 balmy degrees and you could wear shorts. So let's take a look at the big picture. We do have some changes on the way, but we are enjoying high pressure across the area. An area cloud to be found. Uh, you go off to the west, though. We're starting to see some clouds southeast Texas through the Texas Hill Country, even some sprinkles there, but we're not expecting sprinkles. But some of the clouds eventually as high pressure begins to shift off to the east as we head into tomorrow ahead of our frontal boundary that we're expecting more on that in just a bit. First off, though, the tropics starting to wind down a little bit. Ada now absorbed by a frontal system. Tropical storm Theta over here on the far eastern Atlantic still doing its thing. It's going to last for a couple of more days. And the new system that we've been talking about over the last couple of days getting upgraded to a depression this morning. And then the 30th named tropical system of this record breaking hurricane season. This is tropical storm Iota with 40 mile per hour winds. No watches or warnings posted so we won't get another update till 9 o'clock tonight. 40 mile per hour winds moving not too quickly, so this is going to more than likely gain some steam in our forecast models indicating this has a major hurricane potential and that's what the Hurricane Center is forecasting, bringing this system up to at least a Category 3, could be close to a Category 4. Now, mind you, Ada hit in this same area in Nicaragua and Honduras a week ago or so uh, as a Cat 4, and here comes another major storm, so uh, the relentless hurricane season continues and very heavy rainfall will continue not only across Nicaragua, but into Honduras, Belize, and Guatemala as well. And we see that uh, as we watch our GFS model, which has done a pretty good job with the tropics this year, indicating rough weather down here across Central America and actually hinting at maybe another low pressure system developing. Beyond that, that could be Kappa going into, uh, we'll say, uh, Thanksgiving week. We'll see how that plays out. But meanwhile, for us, no threats to the Gulf of Mexico as high pressure and uh, frequent cool fronts are keeping all the tropical activity at bay, but you can see some very heavy rainfall, more flooding rains and mudslides likely for those Central American countries. For us, though, it's going to be a nice one starting out in the 50s, topping out in the lower 80s tomorrow. Some clouds out ahead of that frontal boundary and then maybe a shower too early Sunday, but sunny skies for Sunday afternoon, then much cooler temperatures filling in as high pressure builds back into the region. So tonight temperatures closer to the mid to upper 50s for your low, so not quite as cool as this morning, but still cool. Lower 80s tomorrow afternoon. If you got the shorts, wear them. T-shirts as well because it'll be a while before we see 80s again. And here you see that front showing up. We stay near 70 for a low tomorrow night, but that front blows on through. We get into the mid 70s Sunday, but then cool off into the 40s as we head into Monday morning. So a nice evening ahead. Clear skies and temperatures a few degrees milder than where they should be this time of year, but still on mark. 57 the low, 81 the high tomorrow. Should should be a beautiful day. Nice breeze in the afternoon out of the south southeast at about 8 to 14. Here comes the front early Sunday. A few showers at 30% Sunday, but partly to mostly sunny skies by day's end. And look at next week. We're talking lots of sunshine with highs in the low to mid 70s, maybe even upper 60s on Monday and overnight lows generally in the 40s going into next week. So looking good for now and even better next week, Marcel.